Hi everyone, welcome to this quick practice for tight shoulders. So today we're going to be looking at mobility and flexibility in the shoulder area. So if you're feeling like you've got a tight shoulder, tight upper back, this practice is going to be for you. You are going to need just one prop today, so a block or you could use a book, something of that description. And just leave that to the top edge of your mat, that's just for one of our stretches. And we're actually going to start lying on our back today, so come on down to your back. You can have your feet flat on the mat if that's more comfortable on the lower spine. And then just bring your arms out into a cactus shape here. Just really allow your shoulder blades to rest onto the floor. Take a few moments here to close off the eyes. Breathe in deeply through the nose. And sigh out through the mouth. <sighs> Taking a few moments just to surrender the weight of your body to gravity. Just taking an opportunity to check in if we're holding on to any physical stress, tension, tightness. And with each exhale, just allowing it to wash away. Wonderful. From here, we're going to roll onto our right sides. So we're going to stack our knees on top of one another and stack our hands on top of one another like so. So we're on our right cheek here. If you want a little pillow, definitely grab one. And we're going to make some rainbows with the top hand. So with that left hand, you're going to sweep that hand all the way overhead. See so if you can keep your fingertips on the floor opening out into a twist lovely and back again so nice and slow see if you can keep your fingertips brushing along the floor and just see how that feels in the front of your shoulder on that left side and there's no need to struggle or like over overdo it here just see if you can make it nice and fluid and enjoyable. Lovely. Bringing that hand all the way back out over top. Wonderful. Let's do one more. So it's almost like you're peeling your chest open here. Good. Next time your hand lands on top, we're going to come back through center. Roll to the opposite way, so you're on your left shoulder, left cheek, right hand on top of the left, and then same thing here. So tracing your fingertips overhead, peeling the chest open, and back again. Good, so you can move nice and slow, so you really feel every part of the motion. Wonderful. And then next time your hand comes up and over top, bring your hands on top of one another, come back through center. Give yourself a little squeeze here, so hugging the knees in towards the chest. And then hugging onto the back of the knees, take a little rock up and down the length of the spine, just kind of massage, massaging down the length even to that upper back, middle and lower back. And then you're going to come all the way up to a kneeling position here. Placing your hands onto your knees or your thighs, we're going to take a little seated cat cow. So as you inhale, lift your chest, see if you can tip your tailbone back. And then as you exhale, chin to chest, rounding through the spine. Lovely inhale, sliding the hands up, the thighs look up. Exhale to round. Good, one more inhale. Looking up, tip tailbone back. And as you exhale, round. Wonderful, good. Inhale to a neutral place now, and then let's come to an all fours position. Good. From here, we're going to reach our right hand high towards the sky, and then bring the right hand to the back of the head. 
Good, breathing in deeply. And then as you exhale, elbow to elbow, stretching across that back. Lovely, inhale, reach it up, look up. Exhale. Good, one more inhale. Lean back, exhale. Good, this time inhale, bring the elbow up, bring the hand up. And then this time you're gonna thread it all the way underneath. So you're coming onto that right shoulder, right cheek. With your left hand, creep it forwards. Come onto the fingertips and then maybe creeping your hands over to the right if that feels good. Breathing deeply so you feel the breath kind of pushed into the back of the right shoulder. Good, sliding the left hand back, sliding that right hand back. Same on the left here. So inhale, left hand reaches high. Bring it to the back of the head, breathe in. Exhale, elbow to elbow or as far as you can. Good, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, use your breath. Exhale. Good, as you inhale, elbow up, hand up. Exhale, thread it all the way through. Come as far onto that left cheek as you can. And then the right hand reaches forwards. Good, maybe creeping your fingertips to the left corner of your mat. If that feels good, you'll feel a stretch kind of here on the under part of your shoulder almost. Wonderful, nice big breath. Let it go. Good, sliding your right hand back and then the left hand back underneath. Lovely, this is where we're gonna need our block. So you're either gonna use a block or a stack of books. And it's kind of like puppy pose, but we're just gonna do it one arm at a time. So keeping your hips where they are, you're gonna place your right elbow onto that block your right hand is gonna come in between your shoulder blades and you're gonna sink your heart down towards the floor. If I get my hair out of the way. <laughs> and you're gonna feel it in towards your triceps, so a big tricep stretch. And it's gonna help open up your shoulder as well. Kind of like through the lat area a little bit as well. So with each exhale, see if you can just lean into it. And nothing should ever feel painful or too much. So just go to your edge. If you can relax your fingers. Good, soften across the jaw if it starts to get a little bit intense. Good, and then we're gonna switch it over. So slowly lifting yourself back up. Let's bring the block underneath the left elbow. So bend that elbow. Hand is gonna come like in between the shoulder blades, just resting the hand there, and then sinking the chest down. And you can use your opposite hand for a little bit of support. So you see it's quite similar to puppy pose, but just one armed, so you get into the tricep a little bit more. And it's a little bit more of a pinpointed stretch than when we do a full puppy, which we are gonna do in a sec. Good, make sure those fingers aren't kind of clawing the mat. See if you can relax your fingertips. And just lean into that stretch. So probably feeling it predominantly into the tricep. Good, one more deep breath on this side. Let it go. Good, and then slowly releasing. You might wanna keep your block to hand. Just take a little wriggle through the shoulders. Good, and then we're gonna come into full puppy. So keeping the hips where they are, you're gonna walk your hands forwards, dropping the chest, maybe the forehead down, maybe the chin down. You can always grab your block here and rest your forehead onto the block. 
for a little bit more support. You can make it a little bit more comfortable for yourself. Otherwise, sinking the heart down towards the floor. Just being mindful that we're not forcing anything here. So we're not like pushing our chest down. We're really using like gravity to help us out here. Good, let's take one more deep breath in through the nose. And let it go through the mouth. <sighs> and then slowly, slowly walking the hands back towards you. And then I want you to push the shoulder blades into the ceiling, let your head drop down. A couple of breaths here, just to refresh the back of the shoulder. Lift your tummy up as well. And then just take a few movements of your choice. So maybe some circles, maybe some cat-cow. You can roll out through the neck just to kind of loosen it up <laughs> and flush any tension away. Wonderful. Very nice. Let's move that block out of the way. From here, you're going to tuck your toes. You're going to roll over your feet. You're going to come to a nice hanging forward fold. So gently walking the feet back. Soften through your knees. So this isn't about the hamstrings at all. Let's grab opposite elbows, head hangs, and really kind of shake out your shoulders, shake out your head. Imagine like your arm bones were gonna just like fall out of your sockets of the shoulder here. Feeling the pull of gravity on your shoulder blades. Relaxing through the back of the neck. And through that middle and upper spine, just let it go. Good, crown of the head pointing down. If you struggle to let go of the head, just give it a few little nods and just kind of tell it to super relax. Good, and then fingertips down to the mat, bend into the knees and come to a seated position. So maybe kneeling's good, maybe you prefer to be cross-legged here. As you inhale, you're going to take your arms out wide and then cactus them out. Lovely, breathe in. As you exhale, elbows and hands touch, chin to chest. Lovely, inhale, open up, maybe you arch through the back, open through the chest. Exhale, bring it in. Good, inhale. And exhale. Good, inhale, open up. Now we're gonna interlace our fingers behind our back, squeeze the palms together and lift through the chest. For some of us, you might wanna bring the fist away from the small of your back and feel that opening across the front of your shoulder and your chest. I find it quite helpful to think about squeezing like a grape in between your shoulder blades. You really wanna activate those muscles. Lovely, big deep breath in, exhale, release, lovely, good. Let's stretch through the back of the shoulder now. So we're going to take our arms out wide. Let's bring our right arm on top of the left and walk your fingertips around your back so your fingertips are like brushing on your shoulder blades. Good, let your head drop down and breathe. You'll feel that stretch in your upper back and the back of the shoulder. Good, from here, you're welcome to stay here or you're gonna stack your elbows on top of one another and find eagle arms, if I demonstrate from this side. Lovely, take a breath in. As you exhale, just begin to round forwards until you find a stretch that feels good for you. So I kind of angle the elbows towards the belly button. Let the head drop down. You might wanna to move to the left or to the right, depending on where you find the tightness. Keep pushing the forearms away from you. Good, as you inhale, let's take the arms out wide. Right hand on top of the left. So left arm on top of the right this time. Walking the fingertips round. 
And then breathe into your hands here. So breathe into that back body. Relax your face, relax the jaw. And you're welcome to stay here if that feels good. Maybe you fold forward or backs of the hands touch or palms touch into eagle. Push the forearms away and then maybe rounding forwards if that feels good. And you might want to lean to the left and down, to the right and down. It's quite helpful to close your eyes here and really pay attention to where you feel the tension and see if you can direct your breath to that space. Good, breathe in deeply and release. Ah, lovely, relax your shoulders away from your ears. Come take a seat with me. Let's take a breath in to bring the shoulders up by the ears. And as you exhale, let them go. Ah, good, two more like that. Breathing in, pull them up and drop them. Ah, one more, breathing in. Bring them right up to touch your earlobes and let it go. <sighs> Close your eyes. Just take a moment to notice how you feel now. And take a moment to thank yourself for carving out a little bit of time for your shoulders today. When you're ready, slowly opening up the eyes and welcoming yourself back. Thank you so, so much for sharing this short little practice with me. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do let me know in the comments. And I have loads of practices for tight shoulders, different mobility techniques, different kind of flexibility stuff. I will leave a few in the description below. So if you would like to do a little bit more for your shoulders, you can go check those out. Thank you so much for joining me and I shall see you on the next video. Bye.